Like in September's past, a new upgrade system has arrived for the iPhone. So the question we're asking is, what, if any, excitement will it bring to the existing iPhones already out there? Joining us now to break it all down, Brett Molina. You know him. He's the tech reporter over at USA Today. So, so Brett, tell me about the upgrade. Are you seeing any push forward in innovation, anything exciting with this upgrade cycle? And, and, and what, what, what's ultimately it going to do for the consumer, for the user of the iPhone? Well, there's no one singular feature that really stands out. It's a lot of other smaller tweaks that Apple's made that'll make your phone run faster and, and offer a little bit more battery life. Um, one of the big ones is a low power battery mode that'll eke out an extra hour or so of battery for your phone. So if you're running low, you have a little bit extra time before you have to get in front of a charger. Um, there's also a proactive search that will, um, you know, the basically the phone will predict what you want to search for ahead of time before you know it. So it's a very interesting touch. Um, really one of the bigger things too is that this is going to be a much smaller download than before. Last year, you know, a lot of people struggled updating their phones because the size of the actual update was so big. They've made that smaller now, so uh, users should run into a lot less problems this time. All right, so if we talk about these upgrades, right, you, you've, you've talked about some of the upgrades that we're going to see here. How much do you, do you think users will actually adopt it quickly? I mean, do, do users in your experience just go and update it just because it's there? Or do you think there's a bit of a lag time as people wait and see what, what, what happens to their friends' phones and everybody else? Well, I think, um, especially after last year, I think more people are going to be hesitant because they just want to make sure that their phone will still work. Um, if you recall last year when, when people updated to iOS 8, they actually lost their cellular connection so they couldn't make phone calls. Um, so I think what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to wait for some of those early adopters to to update their phone, see what they think of it, and then if all goes smoothly, then maybe they'll hop on too. Um, also, the other thing too is when you have that many people trying to update at the same time, you, you run into bottlenecks and it can take a really long time for your phone to actually update. So you might not see, between that and, and, and what Apple's introducing with iOS 9, I think you're going to see a slower rate of adoption compared to previous years. All right, so Brett, there are those out there, you may, may or not be one of them, that say that, that, say that perhaps Apple is playing catch up here with other smartphones and other operating systems. What do you think people mean by that? And how is this Apple iOS update in, in essence playing catch up or does it really set the bar for this, this new operating system generation for these phones? Well, I think it ties in a lot to the new phones that they're introducing, the 6S and the 6S Plus. A lot of the features there and, and also in iOS 9 are, are often involved or are all available in other Android devices and even some Windows devices. Um, you know, things like 3D Touch, uh, that similar kind of feature is, is available in some of those phones. And some of the other things like lower power, the, the battery mode that's being introduced, that's been available in some Samsung phones for a while now. So it does feel like in some respects that they're taking features that have already been available in other smartphones and finally bringing them to the iPhone. Um, but, but, you know, with Apple, I think their reputation has always been they bring these features in and they make them better. You know, just because they're not first doesn't mean that they can't come up with a better version. So um, I think a lot of people are hoping for the same thing here. I gotcha. So it sounds like you, with the iPhone 6 and 6S coming out and this new operating system, the buzz continues to go. We'll actually see if this time it really does generate that big catalyst for those iPhone sales. Brett, thank you so much for joining us. That's Brett Molina, tech reporter over at USA Today. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.